What's going on guys? I'm here for a couple days visiting Universal headquarters. I just pulled out my cooler to have something to eat and a whole bunch of people around me expressed their interest as to what was inside. So I said, you know what, maybe this is a good idea for a video. Uh, I'm traveling and I know that a lot of you who have goals, right, whether it's to gain size, whether it's to get in shape, uh, a lot of it hinges on proper nutrition. And when you're traveling, it's a challenge, right? How are you going to uh, fulfill your nutritional requirements while you're on the road. And I've been doing this longer than I would like to admit. So I have definitely have a system for it at this point. I've gotten pretty good at it. And I figured, you know what, if I could share just kind of what I do and if it helps somebody out there, then it was worth making this video. So um, even just starting with the cooler, like I know people get into these fancy coolers that are hundreds of dollars. This is like a square box. I don't know, this cooler is like 20 bucks. I, I go through probably one of these a year. And uh, it's nice because it's just open inside. I can literally just make things fit however they want. I'm not like obligated to like utilize certain Tupperware and it slides into slots, like all that. I've been there, I tried that, it's a pain in the ass. You're better off with just your basic cooler. So let me take out a few of the things that I have in here and I will explain the contents of this. So, exciting stuff, I know. Essentially, I've got three meals, right? So I woke up this morning in a hotel and I was planning on running to a diner to get breakfast. I figured, okay, I'll run down the street, have my usual half a dozen eggs, maybe some toast, and uh, you know, there's my breakfast. But to my pleasant surprise, they actually had real eggs at the hotel. So the continental breakfast, or maybe this is more, this is a step above a continental breakfast. So they had eggs, they had potatoes, they had toast. So I was able to just have my normal breakfast. So six eggs and some toast. Super simple, but that gets the job done. So I figure when I travel, I always assume, okay, I'm gonna have breakfast someplace and I'm gonna have dinner someplace. But if I have three meals in between and maybe a shake, depending on how many calories I'm trying to obtain, that's not that hard. So three meals, each of them is the same, eight ounces of chicken and a cup of vegetables. So just some grilled chicken with broccoli and cauliflower. I know it looks delicious, uh, but when we're talking just utility, right, this is what's gonna get the job done. So what do I do? Three base meals are the same, and then I just add stuff in around it to hit my uh, you know, requirements, whether it's for carbohydrates or whether it's for fats. So I've got some nuts, right? They travel well, they don't need to be refrigerated, they don't need to be cooked or prepared. Super easy, same goes with rice cakes. Uh, and by the way, these salted caramel rice cakes from Lundberg are awesome, uh, delicious, but you can just toss them in your, your luggage. Again, you don't have to worry about them being refrigerated. You don't have to be worried about them going bad. I'll bring some fruit with me. And just it's basically it's stuff that you don't need to do anything to. You don't need to refrigerate it. You don't need to cook it. So I'm only here for two days. So I brought six meals with me. Then if I was in a phase where I'm trying to hit even a greater amount of calories, I'll put a, a jug of animal meal in there, right? To hit extra protein, carbs, fats. Um, but again, doesn't need to be refrigerated, travels well, super easy to just add some to a shaker cup, add some water, shake it up, down the hatch, onto the next thing. I think if you, when you travel, if I could offer you any advice, if you can figure out a way where you bring three meals per day, and for simplicity's sake, just do yourself a favor, make those meals the same base meals, right? And let the things you add to them be different. So like when I eat this in a minute, I'm, I'm pretty much gonna do this and have like half of this, right? So I'm gonna have a pear, probably a quarter cup of nuts, some chicken and some veggies, and that's a meal, right? It's totally gonna get the job done. Uh, if I'm going away for a week or whatever, same thing. I'll just vacuum seal a bunch of chicken, I'll vacuum seal some veggies. At least if you have your protein with you, okay? It's very easy to hit up a grocery store and get some microwavable rice. It's very easy to get a sleeve of rice cakes, nuts, all the things that you're gonna put in around those meals. But if at least you have your protein, you can get it done fairly easily. So it's taken some practice. It may look like a giant pain, but honestly, once you have a system down and once you've done it a few times, not a huge deal. So hopefully you find this helpful at least a little bit. And uh, this just looks so delicious. I'm gonna get to this now. As always guys, thank you for watching.